this video about uh, is about different methods and thread run method and start method we have already seen how they work in threading so when you implement the start method it invokes the run method for the specific thread there is one priority uh, method in terms of thread then join method set name and get name so let's see all these methods implementation through an example here uh, so the uh, program that you are viewing currently now it's the main class in the main class we are trying to create uh, three threads right here so three threads are doing three different separate tasks so the order in which they will be executed uh, that uh, will be controlled by the different functions here so for the class implementation we are using this display method uh, display message class which implements the runnable interface and the case and number uh, it extends the uh, thread class so the threads call um, i mean the thread when it, they are going to be created whether they will uh, implement the runnable interface or they will extend the thread class it depends on which method they are calling display message or guess a number let's start from here so first uh, in here this is the part where we are trying to create the first thread so the hello the object is created for the runnable Mm, class uh, with having the argument hello in it so the display method function will be invoked which will set the message hello then thread one is to be created with the message uh, hello in it uh, then the set name method which belongs to the thread class it changes the name of the thread uh, to be equal to the argument inside it that is the hello then the start method of the thread one it will invoke the run method um, related to this class so as this thread has been created with the display message class call so it will invoke this uh, run method so when we run the code uh, let's uh, let's first see so the first starting thread one will be printed in output um, then um, the start method will invoke this run method and it will print the message that is hello five times so here it's printing five times so you may have one question in your mind that as the threads here the class has three threads thread one thread two and uh, thread three but why they are not executed they are not performing their functionalities at the same point of time why the thread one is executed and it it's waiting until the thread one uh, completes its task why because uh, we have this in the try catch block we have the join method implementation so what does it mean here this function it what it uh, does it waits for this current thread in which the join method is implemented current thread to um, die so this thread one will perform its task as long as um, it's not um, dead so once it will perform all its task um, it will execute everything in it so after that it will uh, stop working this thread and goes to the next thread that is our thread two so that is why we are it's the printing uh, it's printing starting thread two and then starting doing all the task of thread uh, two then our thread three in this way so let's see what do we have in the thread two in the thread two um this is the here is the thread creation and there is a set priority uh, method so what does it mean actually what happens so once uh, the thread two uh, starts its execution Mm, as this thread's priority has been set to its maximum priority with the max priority there are different priority values max priority min priority if we have min priority that means on the thread will be given a minimum priority so highest priority will uh, get the execution chance prior to in comparison to the other threads that are, that are present in this class so as this thread two gets the max priority so this goodbye message um through this 
display message class uh, it's getting printed the number of times that is um, this this many number of times in the output okay so after it prints it does its thing in the thread to it then the next thing is that it will go to the thread 3 and start doing uh, implementing the set name the start method and again as it has the join function again so it will uh, keep on uh, executing this part um, whatever is uh, it's related to actually it's implementing the guess number method uh, parameterized constructor so it will invoke the um, this parameterized constructor and run method by the call of the start method for thread 3 so it just implements uh, executes all these statements as you see here uh, so it's depending on let me just show you it's here because of this do while loop it's printing that uh, thread 3 cases 79 so as long as the case is not equal to the actual case that is the user is making so the actual case um, here is 27 so when it gets the case uh, as 27 there it should stop that that is what is going on in this loop so these are all the methods and there are some additional methods also um, i'll provide you in a table here in the video where i will post it so just uh, you can use all those methods in your threading code and then um, this is how you will implement all the methods in the java threading